Hi everyone, it's Steve here. Um, about to share some ideas. I never liked videos like these. You know, I've been expressing their opinion and the world according to them. Uh, but I just think it's very expedient for me to talk to my friends and people that I know. Let me do texting and been emailing me asking how I am personally in Israel and the Matzah, the situation in Israel. Um, so I'm walking in Yushalayim right now. The streets are pretty, pretty quiet. There's not a, there's not a, um, it's not fear per se, but there's a, uh, there's great, uh, how do I verbalize it? Uh, what's going to happen? What's going to be? Matzav is very, very serious. And I don't want to be hyperbolic. It's very, very serious. I don't think we've ever really had a threat like this in my lifetime, for sure, from the south and the north. Uh, what do we do? We have to daven. And now's the time to open up your checkbooks. You know, we have money for restaurants, we have money for Zara, and ski trips and everything else. Now is the time to open up your checkbooks and give. What organizations to give to? Check them out, I can definitely help you with that. But we have to raise money. As far as buying supplies and everything else, there are cargo planes on the tarmac in Ben Gurion, and they're not allowing them to come in because people bought stuff which the army doesn't need nor want, and then I'll have a licensing agreement. So make sure in your beautiful Jewish hearts, before you're buying batteries, which are not accepted, make sure you're buying the right things. Allegedly, the army doesn't need more underwear, more socks right now, but we need to buy equipment, desks and helmets and other sundry uh, items, all right? But you have to check it out. Uh, but now is the time to open up your checkbooks. You know, we've been to the Negev, We've been to Beersheba, we've been to the Golan. And it's only because we've had an army and a Shem protecting us. And now's the time that we have to stand together and do. Open your checkbooks, Davin, and uh, lobby your congressmen and senators. The situation here is very, very, very serious. You know, Hezbollah has maybe 100,000 missiles in the north. I'm not going to go more detail about that. This probably going to be a massive evacuation of a million people from the north to the south. The human needs, the money that's going to be needed to feed these people and blankets and everything else is going to be amazing. Rabbi Grossman from Migdal Or is going to be very involved. You could contact me for that link. Uh, last night I was supposed to leave at 12.15 and basically it was the last flight Al will have for weeks. And the reason I stayed and the reason I stayed is as follows. You know, my whole life, yes, when Israel was attacked and we had a war, I used to heal him and we raised money and I sold wine in class, helping to bust the economy, but I never risked my life for the Jewish people of Israel. And we come to Israel and we say, oh, toda, toda lecha, lecha, toda lecha to the Israeli army for risking their lives. But now is my opportunity of being real. And Baruch Hashem, my family were supportive. Am I scared? No. Am I... Am I... <laughs> challenged by all this? Yeah. But those of us, who, you who are in America, in England, and whoever's watching this, what you have to do, Davin, give money. If you're going to buy supplies, make sure it's going to the right place. And the reason why I'm wearing glasses is I've been up till 5.30, 6 o'clock with the Clayman family, raising funds, trying to secure... Uh, things the army needs, securing airplanes and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's it. And I'm not trying to scare anyone, but I'm being very real. The situation for our people is very, very, very serious. It's very, very real. No one has any un un idea of what's going to happen. Please, God. Please, God. Hashem will save us once again. Thank you. Bye.